Tonight, concerns about budget cuts at Omaha's largest high school. South High is a magnet school within the Omaha Public School District, and it offers unique fine arts classes. And WWT 6 News has been contacted by several parents of students at Omaha South. They're worried that their children's fine arts education could be taking a severe hit. Our Brandon Scott's looking into this. He's live at South tonight. Hey there, John and Mallory. This school has a reputation for providing an environment where some of the city's most creative students can learn and thrive. But tonight, several parents are concerned that environment could be in jeopardy. I don't want my children robbed of any sort of their education. Angela Bayuna's son, Mario, is a sophomore at Omaha South High School who loves music. He sings in the choir and is also a percussionist in the school band. Baina sent Mario to Omaha South because of its magnet programs, which focus on visual and performing arts. But during a recent meeting, school officials told Baina and other parents that the district is cutting the school's arts magnet budget this year by nearly $100,000. I was utterly, along with all of the other parents in the room, completely taken aback by the amount that was cut. This is an email sent to parents by the school's curriculum specialist explaining how losing that money means the school might not be able to pay for performance costumes, sheet music, even art supplies like pottery, clay and paint. You got to do it. You got to go for your dreams. Last month, we met Terry Spivak, who's taking fashion design classes at Omaha South. His designs are so good, he was selected to participate in Omaha's Fashion Week. Bainus worries that without adequate funding, creative students like Terry and her son Mario will suffer. I don't understand how the district can just take those funds away from our children, not just my child, all of these children. They are producing here at South High stars kids that are excelling in life, yet they're taking away the tools that they need to excel with these budget cuts. Now, Bainas has asked OPS for answers, but no one has called her back yet. So we reached out to OPS and late this afternoon we spoke with a district official. Coming up at 630, we'll tell you why the district says that parents here have nothing to worry about. John and Mallory. All right, thanks, Brandon. That's Brandon Scott reporting live.